Hey everyone, it's Philip. I am so glad that you are able to join me today. Listen, grab your coffee before we get started. It's really great because you know today's a little bit colder, but coffee always warms me up. Listen, so today we're kind of looking at um, everything that's going on when it comes to entrepreneurs, but not just the business. What does it mean for people personally? How do you decide? to just step out. We know that since the pandemic and you know, for years, a little bit before that, becoming an entrepreneur has kind of been the buzz, but a lot of people start and then a lot of people stop. A lot of people have vision, but then a lot of people lack consistency. A lot of people wanna do so many things and they want the results, but they don't wanna put in the work. But listen, today we're talking to somebody who's putting in the work. We're talking to Robin Turley, who is the owner of Queen Body Essentials. Since 2000, Queen Body Essentials has been committed to providing customers with a range of body products, from body butters to infused body oil. There's something in their store for everyone. And we're gonna talk about not just the store, but the person behind the store, Robin. Hello. Hello. How are you doing? Well, how are you? I am doing excellent. Listen, I am so glad that you were able to join us today. I know you just came back from out of the country. You're doing a whole lot of things. And um, welcome back, first of all. Thank you. Thank you so much. It's good to be back. It's good to be here. Um, thank you for the invite so Absolutely. much. Appreciate that. So I'm I'm excited for the opportunities. Absolutely. So listen, you're an entrepreneur, and before we get to your story, I want to kind of touch base on what I just said. Have you noticed in kind of just the world in general, people kind of have been stepping out and kind of doing their own thing? Absolutely. I have seen that boom, and I think as you mentioned, you know, the pandemic was um, the the gateway to a lot of these businesses, whether black owned, you know, minority businesses, we've just seen an uprise, an uptick in the amount of people who are stepping out on faith, I think. Um, you've got a lot of influencers like Tabitha Brown and, mm -hmm. you know, a lot of these people who are um, able to reach us virtually. And um, I think we're all finding our own little faith to get out there. So you're seeing an abundance of that. Just, you know, being cooped in, you know what 2020 did to us, you know, how it made a lot of people feel. Some people lost their minds, you know, um, but at the end of the day, <laughs> you know, some people were able to take that and it was a great time, you know, to uh, get into another avenue of income, business, following your passion, whatever that was, it was a great time for that, so. I love how you said it was a great time because I have a lot of conversations with a lot of different people who have a lot of different perspectives about what happened during the pandemic. And I just want to balance it. You know, there's so many things that were tragic. There are right. so many things that were a loss. But even in the midst of a lot of loss, there was a lot of growth. So mm -hmm. as tragic as, you know, the COVID pandemic has been and sort of continues to be, but that's another, you know, it is, but there's so many things that came out of it. Now your brand, listen, you didn't start in the wave of the I'm at home and I don't have anything to do and let me try and build a business. You're up here in 2000 building a business. So back in 2000, now let's get into your story. What inspired you to say, you know what? I have an idea and I'm gonna go for it. Yes, so just so you know, now the idea behind Queen Body was initiated in 2000. Mm -hmm. The business itself, it was birthed in 2019. Oh, so you were part of that wave. Yes, I absolutely was. But however, you know, the thought of becoming an entrepreneur, um, something that I wanted to do, I think I was surrounded with friends who already had businesses and things. And it just came upon me at a time in my life where I said, you know, I want something. I want to do something. What could I do? And I kind of researched and did a couple of different things. Um, and then, you know, when the pandemic happened, um, 
I don't know what happened to me, you know, a lot, you know, just sitting yeah. here able to think, kind of, you know, be strategic about some of the things you want to move forward in. And I think after prayer and just aligning myself, um, Queen Body was birthing. And one thing I will say is that I feel like when God is planning something out for you or having you do a thing, it happens effortlessly. Mm. You know, the, the doors begin to open, you know, the things that um, are for you just begin to show up with you putting in that work. I yeah. researched for a whole year before I even touched a piece of equipment, you know, so um, that's that's how it happened. So you're from a, a small town, right? You're from yeah. a small town in Kentucky. That's right, Lexington. So I was born in Berkeley, California. Um, my dad's side of the family is there. However, I was raised right here in Kentucky, um, in Lexington. So by my mom's side of the family. Okay. Mm -hmm. So you started, and I'm so interested in your journey because, you know, as I opened up the show, a lot of people have an idea, but they don't start or something comes along where they pause or they have self-doubt or they may self-sabotage or something may happen. They don't feel they're worth moving forward or they're trying to find something. Between 2000 and you saying, okay, I'm ready to investigate, I'm ready to start. I have an idea way back here, but something in the middle kind of made you pause. What made you pause so many years on the idea that you had? Yeah, so I think just, for one, the hustle and bustle of being a single parent, you know, having to have, you know, a full time job, you know, helping my daughter, all the things that need to happen on it every day. We sometimes put our wants and desires and needs on the back burner. Mm -hmm. um, and I think when I got to a place in my career, you know, outside of Queen Body and, you know, situated with my daughter going to college, I found it, you know, a little bit easier for me to just go ahead and start the thing you know uh, for so long you sit on things and you're like you know if i had just made the move this could have been done you know i would have had the shop and all the things but um i'm happy that i actually put those feet together and had them move so that something could you know happen and i think that's the that's the answer is you know you've got to move you've got to put one foot in the front put the action in faith without works you know it's, yeah so Come on, preach up in here today. Was there, <laughs> was there a point where, um, and I'm asking this question because people out there, some people are gonna be looking to start their own thing or they already have it, or they're feeling some sort of um, inner anxiety and they may think that's strange or maybe a signal to stop. Did you ever have, even though what is for you is for you, were you ever afraid? I think I was in a sense, and I don't think I even knew fear mm -hmm. when I seen it. You know, when I when I finally recognized what that thing was, it was like you're holding on something. There's something, a calling for you to do, a thing for you to do, something you're supposed to be doing, but you're not taking the actions to do that thing. You're sitting on it. And when you are asked about it or people say, you know, what's going on? I thought you were going to do such and such. It's like, yeah, you know, I'll get to it. But um, you're not going after that thing. Um, and I think when we actually do a thing and, and put the motion, the momentum into it, um, you never know what's on the other side of that. You know, so um, I think I was fearful without even recognizing um, the fear itself. And I was mm -hmm. passive about it, maybe putting it off saying, oh, well, it's just me not being ready right now or whatever the thing is, but, Really, if we call a thing a thing, it was it was fear. So I'm um, just having the courage to, you know, get up and just do the thing. Yeah, do the thing. Well, you did the thing. <laughs> you did the thing. And now you now you have your line. Tell me, I'm interested to know why um, queen body and why a body line? There's so many, you know, there's so many TikToks with makeup and yeah. there's so many trends. How did you come to the decision to say it's going to be queen body? And I wanted to really focus on the body. Yes. Yes. So queen body essentials, I believe that every woman is a queen in her own right, you know, whatever that may be. Um, and I feel like there are a set of essentials that every woman needs. It's the tricks and the traits that I learned many years ago growing up with a mother who 
um, took very good care of her skin from head to toe and I learned mm -hmm. a lot. So um, that sent me into um, just doing makeup classes. I started being Victoria's Secrets makeup artist um, for several years and then went to Macy's and worked for Bobby Brown for several years. And then that spiked my interest. And then I went to a uh, school for aesthetics down in Georgia. So the Atlanta Institute of Aesthetics um, is where I was. And then once I got finished with that, I moved back home to Kentucky and um, pursued healthcare. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> so that was that little gap that we talked about, like, you know, what was I doing? It was healthcare and all the other things. And then finally in my life, I got a chance to get back to what I truly love. So mm -hmm. with the knowledge that I gained from school, um, my mom just teaching me how to take care of myself as a woman. And, um, you know, I mean, we were shiny walking around like brand new pennies, you know, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, shining from head to toe. I mean, the shoes were shined with a little bit of green Lord. gasoline or something. So she just didn't play. And I think I embrace all of that today. And that's a little bit about what Queen Body is, you know, mm -hmm. um, helping you glow from the outside, you know, as well as the inside. So, um, well, I'm interested to know um, how you selected your, your, uh, do you call them flavors or fragrances? Because, you know, I have some here. Okay, yes. For the people at home, listen. Yes. I smell, I smell good, and I want everybody to know. Okay, I see you've got the country apple. Yep, I got the country apple, and then I was also sent a little one that smells like caramel. Okay, that's the caramel apple, yes. This one's the caramel apple, caramel. and I got to be careful with this one because I want to snack every time I smell it. Listen, I know. It does give you a... I know. <laughs> A lot of people say that that country apple reminds them of the Bath and Body Works fragrance before they discontinued that. Yeah. So I've got it now. <laughs> well, before before you tell me how you decided on um, how you quickly decided on these, I just want to um, appreciate you for um, the awesome packaging that you have. You have the label with your logo here, and it also came with this um, this pouch, this transparent pouch with a scooper in it. So first of all, just from a marketing standpoint, well done. Thank you. Know, you. Well done. Yes, it came uh, in a timely manner. I love it. The product is excellent and it looks good. So I, I appreciate that. So yeah. <laughs> yeah. I so, really so had pride in that. I really do. Well, and it shows. And you know, when you're talking about branding and you're talking about personality and putting you in something, a part of you is in somebody's home. And I feel yeah. good for Robin to be here. You know what I mean? Like yes. she came with a little bag and yeah, I, you know, I appreciate the care that, um, cause that, that, that stood out uh, to me. So how did you decide on these fragrances? And so I honestly, initially when I was formulating Queen Body, um, I had in mind uh, bronzers um, for every complexion. So, you know, light, medium, dark, fair, um, and so these butters uh, ideally were going to kind of enhance complexions. And okay. so I was going down the line and, and long story short, we get to a road of almost ice cream uh, flavors, <laughs> you know? And uh, so we've got the vanilla buttercream, um, the chocolate orchid, and um, the way that everything is just, it's almost like it picked itself okay. honestly, from the way it started to pipe. Um, it, it came into looking almost like cupcakes, you know, really sweet. So I think um, ideally I wanted Queen Body to have a certain image of just bronzy, goldy, trophy bodies and um, all the moisture and hydration um, of keeping your skin like that all day. Um, mm -hmm. so I just wanted to take super care in everything that a queen would need her essentials to be. You know, if you're going to have the body butter, we need a spatula to put it on with, yeah. you know, um, the colors, just gold, royal, everything about it. I want you to have the experience. So that's excellent. And, and I like the way that you're talking about it because the way that you're talking about it is the way that it translates. So the way that you're saying it is the way, oops, is the way, see, I got all excited and I hit my camera. It's the, <laughs> it's the way that I, it's the way that I received it. So that's awesome. And you have a website that people can go to and order this 
Yes, and that is queenbodyessentials.com. Um, and it'll take you straight to the website. Um, all my new members get a 30% off of their entire order. Mm. So if you become a Queen Body member, and if you go to my website, there's kind of instructions on how to do that. Um, you'll download the app, and that way you have access to Queen Body, you know, what the new fragrances are. You'll be the first to get the samples and know all about what's going on with uh with you know everything new so that's the advantages and then you'll take advantage of that 30 percent off of your entire order that's and, wonderful well i smell good now and yep. <laughs> you know i'm hydrated and Perfect. and all of that i want to ask you you know Perfect. um being an entrepreneur um if people don't know let me just say it's not easy right you know it's, it's not a it's not an easy journey you mentioned a lot of the things that you intentionally placed inside of your brand to make sure number one that it was you know on target it's competitive and it represents you very well you know what um what challenges what is your biggest what has been to date your biggest challenge um being an entrepreneur that you may not have foreseen when you're like hey i'm gonna do this yeah so honestly uh when i realized that that queen body was a thing and was gonna be happening um i envisioned everything that it was going to take even at this point and beyond you know i saw the vision of where this thing could go um but along the way i had some questions you know <laughs> like wait a minute where are we going to make all this and you know what do you mean i do not see myself in here just you know barefoot and just making body butters i, I was just like no you know <laughs> that's not barefoot with the body butter <laughs> That's what I saw. I'm like, I gotta okay. give it my all, but no, I just saw a whole lot of work that had to go right. into what was about to happen. So um, I think one of the things is when you decide to cross over and say, not only am I just gonna do it, but I'm gonna put my everything into it. I plan on rocking this thing out, mm -hmm. you know. So um, I've I've signed my name that it's gonna be the work. I'm you know I'm committed. Yeah. Um, that that piece in its own, even when things get challenging, I'm proud of myself when I overcome the adversities that I see from day to day. And, you know, and that's a wide range of things. Um, it does feel good when you're like, you know what, we, we did it, you know, um, through it all. So learning something uh, and growing with that every year, making a strategic plan, making a go as to, you know, the challenges and what are we going to do to kind of overcome that and just strive for that. Not that we're going to be perfect and obtain all the things that we want, but that we've made the effort to do so. And I think with that effort um, comes reward. Mm. Yeah, absolutely. Effort comes reward. And I can't, um, I can't emphasize enough consistency. So many times, you know, people are looking for the immediate ROI or the immediate return on investment. Yeah. You know, it's like I did this today and I want to see return tomorrow, you know, yeah. and a lot of times, you know, you don't really see the return until, you know, later down the road through this process, not as a business owner, but just as an individual. What is one way that you can look and say this process has caused me to grow in this area? Yes. OK, so I have to really say consistency discipline um the I, I you know i feel like just the will not to give up on things as much it's almost like this is a baby in or a marriage that you just can't really walk away from mm -hmm. you know and so just the willingness not to be able to just say you know what i'm, <laughs> I'm quitting this baby today you know even though there have been times where it's gotten rough i'm still passionate and uh I think just being consistent and disciplined is what I'm learning the most and what I'm getting the more of, you know, as far as what I'm learning, I think. Now, is this a family business? How many people help you with this? Because you talked about being barefoot with the body butters. I know. You know it's like, so, so how many people are on Team Queen Body Essentials? Yeah, so I actually have a group, a great uh, support system. My daughter, who you know, um, helps me with a lot of my technical things, and uh, 
you know, she keeps me abreast. Uh, she actually does marketing herself. So um, she helps write resumes. Uh, she's an artist and she brings so much to Queen Body on the marketing end to the tech stuff. Mm. You know, um, I've got my sister who um, helps with a lot of the um, back office things. So, you know, she's been in committed. She's like, girl, I need a check, you know, so. But we've got we've got people who are just just want to see me win, want to see Queen Body win, because when I win, I feel like the community wins, you know, and mm. you know, all as a whole um, are doing our part, you know, and helping each other. So, yeah, that is that's what it's about there. That's awesome that you have so many um, so many people that are there supporting you with skills, might I add. Yeah. Yes. You know, with skills, because you can get a lot of support sometimes. It's like, listen, I just do that myself because. Yes. And yeah. actually, you know, two heads are better than one. And, you know, my, my boyfriend, he's a lot of help. I mean, he does uh, helps with uh, all of the marketing ideas and things like that as well. So um, I've got a whole team of people who just really want to see Queen Body and go far. You know, yeah. what is your um, what is your. When you look down the road, because you're like a vision caster, you, so you can kind of see where you want to go. Where yes. do you want your line and you and your efforts? Where do you want all of that to go? What's the goal? I mean, really? Okay, so <laughs> this sounds crazy, but I've always thought, I was like, you know, what if Beyonce brought my company? <laughs> You know, for, you know, maybe 3.5 mil. Um, so I feel little, like- little check. You could really be so dramatic with where you want your business to go. Mm -hmm. You know, I think just, you know, when it comes to manifesting and really having good intentions and uh, not just, you know, seeing yourself prosper, but helping others, all those important things, the sky's the limit to where um, if, if Beyonce, you know, hey, we don't know, you know, so I see me, um, you know, nationwide you know, uh, international, uh, just on a, on a bigger scale. Sure. Uh, I see Queen Body in household, mm -hmm. you know, household name. So um, right now, just, you know. You're doing the work. One body at a time, one yeah. Queen Body at a time. <laughs> and, let me, and let me say this too, and I want this to go to people that are out there as well. Just because you have a goal of what you want to have in the future doesn't mean that you're negating all the things that you've done to get to where you are. You know, right. you, like you're, you're in such a great place, regardless of what the goals are tomorrow. Right. You know, you're in such a great place today. So it's like, let's celebrate today. We'll celebrate tomorrow. And I also celebrate me achieving my goal, my ultimate goal right. when that comes. Yeah. Yes. Cause it's steps, you know, yep. the whole process. It's a whole journey. It's an entire journey. What advice would you give someone who's thinking about launching their own um, dream or their own business or whatever they want to do, but they might be experiencing some self doubt. Yeah. So, you know, that has been the message for me, I think this last month or so. And um, one thing you realize is that you are not the only person that hears the self doubt, mm. you know, that it's a real thing. I think everybody has experienced it to some degree. And I'll say this, um, and, you know, traveling out of the country for the first time, you know, and going to Africa, it was a great experience. This is something new. Um, and as excited as, excited as I was to do it, um, I'll be honest and say, you know, there were some things that I was thinking about, you know, mm -hmm. like, I don't know, what about this? And then people around you, they start to, nobody, you know, they've never been and they're like, oh, well, you gotta watch out for this and watch out for that. And what about this? And, and it's like, oh my gosh. So in the midst of me making a decision to go, there were times where I was like, you know what? I think I'm gonna uh, <clears throat> go ahead and get the money back <laughs> and uh, figure something else out because yeah. I, I never acted on that. But what if, what if I did? Because, you know, landing in West Africa in the Gambia was probably the most beautiful place I've ever seen. Mm -hmm. And the experiences that were had, had I went with that first mind, those thoughts that, you know, tried to penetrate to say, hey, you know, back out of it, maybe don't do this, the self-doubt, the negative talk, um, I would have been robbed of mm -hmm. those experiences and I would have done it. 
Um, so I say to the person that um, wants to, you know, get out on their own and do it is despite of what your mind is telling you, don't do the thing. You know, try and see, you know, you don't have to jump out there, but make some type of effort to, you know, try to get it done. Yeah. Um, fight that because everybody is dealing with that. You know, there's self doubt, talk, you know, that I don't know what, and it's loud. It can be loud, you know, um, but there, you know, there is a, um, I think there's just a way to tap into the positive and the good things, you know, and be intentional about the things you're trying to do. Yeah. So. I love that. Just get out there, just do it. Just, and you are correct. You know, the, the voices can be so loud. They can be loud, yeah. you know? And so if you just pay attention to everything that, you know, you're telling yourself, uh, then you may never reach your highest potential or the thing that God has for you, you know? So there's still a voice that tells you the right thing to do and what to follow, you know? And you can, there's checks and balances to make sure that the things that you're going after is in alignment with the things that uh, are of God for you. Um, so I think it's, it's just good to know, you know, are these things uh, good intentions? You know, are we having good thoughts about it? And just yeah. the checks and balances to make sure you're not, you know, on the deep end somewhere, you know. <laughs> um, exactly, checks and balances. That's, yeah. <laughs> that's what you need. Uh, Robin, Queen Body Essentials, <laughs> thank you so much for coming. Thank you so much for deciding to go ahead and move forward with what you were planning. Thank you and so much. Absolutely. Well, I hope that to, um, to have you back and we're gonna check in absolutely. you know, and see where the brand is and what you're doing. Yes, we uh, definitely need to. I've got the men's line that's dropping as well. Mm -hmm. I just know that that is to be coming soon. Well, that's so. wonderful. So another extension of this awesome line, Queen Body Essentials, there's a men's line coming soon. If it's anything like this, we're in for a treat. Yes, awesome. Yeah, okay. thank you so much. Thank you. So that was Robin, Queen Body Essentials. Listen, this whole time we're talking, I hope that you were inspired. Whatever you're thinking about, whatever your dreams are, just step out. There is gonna be every single voice to say why you shouldn't. There's gonna be every single obstacle to say why you should turn around. There's gonna be every single area in your life that may come against you, but what if you moved forward? What if you silenced those voices and said, I hear you, but I'm not gonna believe that to be true. You have everything you need to succeed. Listen to your inner voice and say, I have a dream, I have a passion, and I'm capable, and I'm gonna do this. So thank you to Robin um, with Queen Body Essentials. Make sure you all check them out. And as usual, you are the best you in the world. And I will see you next time here on The Philip Show. Don't wait.